We start our second day with the Biophysical Society's commitment to exceptional research and education in the Biophysical Journal. Vasanti Jayaraman is editor-in-chief of Biophysical Journal and sits down with us in studio now. Pleasure to have you. Thank you for having me here. We've got the best of 2023 here, an amazing accomplishment. Let's talk a little bit about the Biophysical Journal. What are some of the trends that you're seeing right now when it comes to submissions? So in terms of numbers, for instance, our, uh, the journal is pretty good. It's very stable when it, comes to com when it comes to numbers in terms of the papers that are published. But um, submissions are a little bit uh, low right now. And if you're wondering how this all adds up, mm -hmm. even though submissions are low and you still have enough uh, publications, it's because we, we are getting much better quality uh, papers being submitted. So we have less rapid rejects, which means that most of the papers that are coming to the journal are going out to review. And uh, the whole goal of Biophysical Journal is not to act as a gatekeeper deciding, oh, this, this work is novel or this work is, uh, is jazzy, but rather to improve the quality of the, uh, of the paper by working with the authors and providing them with constructive review. Interesting. So as you are soliciting more work and more research to be published, what are you looking for? So um, really what we're looking for is uh, research that has quantitative insights into biological processes. So it, it spans the whole spectrum, right? All the way from molecular to cellular to systems, even organism level. Mm -hmm. um, so to put it in simple terms, if you're submitting your work and presenting it in, uh, in, at the society meeting, then your work is a, is a good fit for the journal. Okay. Really, the journal is the flagship um, journal for the society members. So it's a forum where the members can submit their work and, uh, and get constructive review from, from researchers in the field. That's a really good litmus test for someone to know, you know, okay, if I can present here, then my work would be you exactly. know, welcome in the journal. Exactly. Um, what would your advice be to somebody who maybe has not submitted their research before, but wants to do so? Basically, what I would suggest is, first of all, look at your work, see if there is good rigor and reproducibility, mm -hmm. and if it's something that the, that the biophysical membership would be interested in. The idea is to make sure that your work is reaching the right people. Okay. So the idea would be for you to look at the editorial board and see, make sure that there are editors who can give you a good review and for your work to reach the people that you want to reach. You know, there are several different journals for the biophysical community. How does the biophysical journal differ from the other ones? So, as I said, again, we have a very large editorial board. These are all editors made up of researchers and, and scientists who are leaders in the field. So, you get to be reviewed by the experts in the field. Okay. So, the whole goal, like I said, is for the authors to get a fair review. And fine, we are not going to be very high in the two-year impact factor that people like to be on where the novelty is tested, but uh, it's more about whether it stands the test of time. You will see that the, the papers that are published in biophysical journals are cited for years and years, so the, the lifetime for the uh, citations is significantly longer, and that just shows you the quality and, and the rigor and reproducibility of the work that's published in BJ. Wonderful advice. Well, Vasanthi Jayarama, thank you so much. Again, Biophysical Journal, the best of 2023. We've got to stand here at the meeting, so make sure that you pick up your copy today. Thank, thank you for having me here.